Now, if you watch our channel on a regular basis, or if you're a subscriber, or better yet, if you're a member, you have noticed Tech Savvy Production videos have slowed down being posted quite a bit. The main reason is that I decided to set aside time and focus to look at Linux for the first time in a long time seriously as an administrator. I'm not talking about installing it, booting it up and running pre-installed applications. I can do that all day. The installation of most distros of Linux are very good and they're stable, but the minute you want to do something beyond that game that's pre-installed, it's a whole new ball game. Coming from a Windows background, which I'm very comfortable troubleshooting, working with, configuring, installing, you name it, Linux is a whole new ball of wax and it really requires a rethinking and retooling of how you approach an operating system. Now, I want to say I have really enjoyed Debian Linux. I have spent months studying and troubleshooting at Debian Linux, and I'm not interested in any other distro. I have learned if I focus on one and master that, that's enough. Debian is probably one of the more popular distros of Linux, and it happens to be my favorite. I am running Mint Linux, but this one is running on the Debian Bookworm version. So I get to enjoy the Mint interface, which I really like, but I'm still running Debian. I have been running Windows all these years and I only had one shell. I have two command line shells, Power, PowerShell and CMD. So I don't need all these different GUI interfaces and all this stuff. Just give me one that works and works well. And the reliability of Debian is good. When I approach a topic and I want to learn it, I've learned to find a practical use for that technology and just use that practical use of that technology and take that as a as a motivation to learn that technology. For example, Linux. I want to take Linux and put it on an Active Directory environment. And I know very little of how that works. So jumping in head first into the pool is the way that I have always learned technology. I just dive in and say, okay, I would like to put Linux on Active Directory. What do I have to know and understand to do that? And head first in we go and all the pain and wanting to throw my Linux virtual machines out the third floor of the, the window is how I learn. Not everyone learns that way, but that's how I have for the last 30 years learned technology. I find that method of learning extremely satisfying because I'm learning something very practical. At the same time, I'm learning all kinds of things about Linux and from an administrative standpoint, which is exactly what I want. Now, getting Linux on Active Directory was a painful, painful process. In the past, I tried to learn Linux, but all I had was Linux forums and Google search. And I'll tell you, you cannot learn Linux very well that way. Now, if you're 17 years old and you've got all the time in the world and your mom and dad pays all your bills, you can do that. Okay, that's great. But if you're an IT administrator and you're trying to learn Linux and you don't have a Linux administrator sitting right beside you who can answer your tough questions that you have as you're running into problem after problem after problem, it's very difficult and challenging. So although I, many times I attempted to learn Linux, I found it incredibly frustrating. Yes, documentation has improved. That is true. But I've used Red Hat documentation. I've used the Debian documentation and it is better than it used to be. And forums are okay, but they're not functional in a real production business environment. You can't wait six days for someone to answer you if they'll answer your question on a Linux forum so you can move forward. That just totally unacceptable in a business environment. So what did I do in order to learn Linux? Or what did I do in order to learn Linux to the level that I could effectively understand how to put a Linux box on an Active Directory domain? I used ChatGPT. I used paid versions because I found all the free versions, Copilot that was free, Gemini that was free, ChatGPT that was free. Those are not acceptable. You're not gonna get the help and the kinds of answers that you need if you're going to try to do that in a shortened period of time. So I paid for all the versions of AI that I used in helping me master and learn how to create PAM configurations, Kerberos configuration files, how to set up properly my DNS resolver configuration file. All of those were painful, but I have learned how to do that now. And I understand what's going on to a much better degree than I would when I started. I would highly recommend anyone in the Windows 
environment that wants to learn Linux, get the paid versions of AI, and they will help you immensely. If you get ChatGPT 4.0, there are many, many coder plugins that you can benefit from requesting bash scripts, or you can also take error messages, which I got a ton of, and dumping them into the AI. And it gave me great feedback on what are some steps that I can take to fix this problem. Without that, I could have never gotten as far as I did in that three, four month period of time. So why have I not been producing videos? Because I am learning and mastering a new, some new technology, and I'm eagerly and very excited about helping IT administrators that are Windows centric start moving and learning and mastering Linux in a way that's going to benefit them right away. And learning to put Linux boxes on an Active Directory environment is something that a lot of network administrators want to learn. If you watch this introduction and you start jumping in and watching the series that I'm going to create on putting Debian Linux on Active Directory, remember the video notes I have created a massive amount of video notes and in there I am going to not only have the commands that, and the configuration files that you need to set up Debian Linux properly on Active Directory. I'm going to show you the screenshots the everything that I discovered is going to be in those video notes. So I highly recommend you download those video notes and use them as a reference. There's a lot of great information in there. While I'm on the topic of AI, chat GPT, etc. For the first time I'm tackling much more challenging technical subjects. And the only way that I could do that today is leverage these AI tools. They really take the IT professional and ratchet up your abilities in a much faster period of time. So if you're holding out for whatever reason, I encourage you, embrace it, don't run from it. It really is super helpful in training you, helping you spot mistakes and problems, and by no means are you taking shortcuts. You're learning and mastering tough Linux concepts or SSH concepts or whatever you're studying. And by no means are you undermining the learning process, you're accelerating it. Here's what I would love from all of my viewers is put in requests, comments, ideas, things that you would like to see me do with Linux in regards to a Windows working production environment. And I will look at those requests and topics and see if we can squeeze in some good video training on those ideas. So throw them in there. I am ready to take on those challenges and produce material that really helps you as an IT professional.